Welcome back with a new math tutorial. In this video, we're talking about points, lines, and plane. What is the meaning of a point? What is the meaning of a line? What is the meaning of a plane? At the first, I would start with the point. What is the meaning of a point? Point is a location. It has neither shape or size. There is no shape or size for the point. But we can say a point is a dot, and it's defined by a capital letter. The name of the point, it must be a capital letter. For any set of points connected together, they will form a line. So we have a line is made up of a point that has no thickness or width. Because we have a lot of points, so we can name the line with any two points located on this line. So the name of a line can be defined by any two points located in this line. So we have here a line, PQ, or we can say that this line is QP. Or we can say we have a line M with a small letter. So the name of a point must be a capital letter, only one capital letter. The name of a line defined by two capital letters, for the two points which are located in this line or one small letter. For any set of points that they form a surface and extend from all of the direction, that will be a plane. So what is the meaning of a plane? Plane is a flat surface, which form it from set of points, which made up of points. We have infinite number of points, which extend from all direction. The plane can be defined by any three points not lies in the same line. So we have here three points B, C, and D. We can say D, B, C, or C, B, D. The order of the letter is not important. Or we can say the name of the plane is a capital letter. So we have a point defined by only one capital letter. The line must be defined by two points, which are defined by two capital letters or one small letter. And the plane can be defined by any three points not lies on the same line or one capital letter. For any two points, there is exactly one line passing through them. If you have more than two points, it means all of these points are collinear. So the collinear points defined by the set of points which lies on the same line. For any three points, there is exactly one plane can passing through them. If you have more than three points lies on the same plane, so we can say all of these points are coplanar. So collinear, it means the points which lies on the same line. Coplanar is the points which lies on the same plane. In this problem, we need to use the figure to name each of them. We need the line that contain the point W. We said to find the name of a line, it could be a small letter, which is the line N. So we have here the line N. Or we can choose any two points lies on this line. So we can say VW, or VX, or VY, all of them for the same line. We have different names, because we can choose any two letters. Or we can say WX, or WY, or XY. Now we need a plane that contains the point T and the point Z. To find the plane which contains two points, you need the third point. The third point must be not collinear. So you can choose any point and they will form a plane that passing through the point T and the point Z. So we can say we have a plane V, Z, T, or W, Z, T, or X, Z, T, or Y, Z, T. The main point that you can choose any three points but not passing through the same line. The plane which contains the point X. We have a point X. X is lies on the plane P. Could you say the name of the plane could be a capital letter? Or we can choose any three point non collinear. So we can say Z, V, W, or Z, W, X, or Z, X, Y. You can choose any three letters but non collinear. We need the line that contains the point T. To find the line that contains the point T, that is the point T. So we can say the line R or the line TX. So it will be a line R or TX. In this part, we are talking about the intersection of a line and the point. So suppose that we have a line M and line M. They are intersecting at one point. So the intersection of two lines could be a point or could be a line. It could be a line if the two lines drawn in the same place. But if the two lines drawn in different place and they are intersecting, then the intersection will be only one point. Now the intersection of two planes. If the two planes drawn in the same place, so the intersection will be a plane. But if we have here two planes drawn in different places, so the intersection of them will be one line. So if we have two planes intersecting together, they will form one line. Or the two planes drawn in the same place, so the intersection of them will be only one plane. What happens when the line intersects the plane? We have two cases. The first one, suppose that we have a plane like that. The line intersects the plane could be passing through the plane. So by this way, we have a line, then dotted part, then continue with the line. So in this case, we have a line intersect the plane at one point. So we have only one point, suppose that this point is A. But we have another case that we have a plane, and the intersection of them is a line. If the line is lies on the plane, if 
we have a line lies on the plane, so the intersection of them will be a line. So the intersection of a line and the plane could be a point if a line is passing through the plane or the line intersects the plane at a line if the line is lies on the plane or the plane contain the line. In this problem, we need to draw and label a figure for each of the following relations. The first relation, we have a line AB intersect the line CD. They are intersecting at one point, which is E, and we have the coordinate of the line, so we can graph it. The first point that we have, negative 2 and 4. That is the first point, negative 2 and 4. And that will be the point A. The second point is 0 and negative 2. And that will be the point B. Then we can draw the line which passing through the two points. The second line is CD. The first point will be negative 3 and 0. That's negative 3 and 0. The next is 3 and 3. That will be the point 3 and 3. We are going 3 to the right and 3 up. That will be the point B. Then we can draw the line CD. The two lines intersect at one point, which is E. So that's at the location of the point E. Now we need to graph the point F, which is coplanar with the line A, B, and C, D. Lies on the same plane, but not intersect with them, not collinear with them. So we can put the point F at any place, the main point that lies on the same plane, but not collinear with them, not lies on the same line, not lies on the line A, B, or the line C, D. In this problem, we need to graph the point J, K, and L. They are collinear. The point J, negative 4 and 2, K, 3 and 2, and the point L, which lies on the same line. So at the first, I will graph the coordinates. J is negative 4 and 2, that is the point J. K is 3 and 2, that is the point K. Then we can draw the line which passing through the two points. We need to draw the point L, which lies on the same line. So you can choose any place for the point L, and that's the location of the point L. Now we need to graph the line QR, with that intersect the plane T at the point S. We said if we have a line intersecting the plane at one point, it means this line is passing through the plane. So we can graph it. Now we have a line QR. That's the point Q and that's the point R. Intersect the plane T. That's the plane T. At the point S. It means we have a line is passing through the plane. Now we need to draw the line P. Lies on the plane N and it contains the point L. So that's how we can draw it. Now we have a line P. Lies on the plane N and it contains the point L. So that's how the graph will be looked like. That's the difference between the line which intersects the plane or the line which lies on the plane. In this problem, we need to know how many planes appear on the figure. At the first, we have one, that's the first plane, two, three, four, five, because we have a pentagon at the base, so we have five sides. And the one at the bottom, so it means we have six planes. Name three points that are collinear. We need three points lies on the same line. We have a point D and a point K and point J, lies on the same line. So we have a point D, K, and J. Name the intersection of the plane H, D, G, and the plane X. At the first, H, G, D. That's the first plane. And that's the plane S. The intersection of the two planes is one line. So the intersection of the two planes is the line H, G. At what point do the line L, M intersect E, F? We have a line LM, that's the line LM, and the line EF. If you extend the line EF, you will find that the two lines will never intersect, because this line, the dotted line, is below the plane, and EF is lies on the plane, so they will never intersect. So it means there is no intersection between them. Are the point E, D, F, and G are coplanar? We need to check E, D, F, and G, E, D, G, and F. E, D, F lies on the same plane. But if you put G, you will find that they are not coplanar. So the point E, D, F, and G are not coplanar. At what point or line the planes? J, D, H, J, D, E, E, D, F intersect. Now we have the plane. J, D, H, and J, D, E. That's the first plane. J, D, H, and the second one. J, D, E. And the third one is E, D, F. All of them intersect at one point, which is D. So the intersection of the three plane is the point D. And that's how we can find the intersection of a line and a plane, line and line, plane and plane.